Are you with Foxhound too? Neither enemy nor friend. Just a messenger from the Lali Lumelo. This is safer, I think. Safe from what? Eavesdropping, of course. All right. Why did you contact me? I've been ordered to give you backup, including the relaying of necessary intel. Ordered by whom? Why won't you identify yourself? There is no need for you to know. I'll decide whether I need to know. You are not yet trusted to make such decisions. <sighs> I'll tell you something you do need to know instead. The current location of the President. What? Or rather, the person who knows the current location of the President. Who is it? A Secret Service agent named Ames, currently being held with other hostages. Secret Service, huh? The head of the President's security detail, Ames has been fitted with the same type of VIP nanomachine system as the President. If you are within range, you should be able to communicate. Why are you telling me this? Do I need to repeat myself? There's no reason for me to believe any of this. You understand that? Of course, but you also have no choice but to believe. <sighs> Do you have any other leads? Where are those hostages? <laughs> You must be Ames. Keep still and listen to me. I'm not a terrorist. I got in here using one of their uniforms. I'm taking off the tape. Stay quiet. Who, who told you about me? An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. I see. Take this thing off me, will you? I'm Richard Ames. Secret Service? No, I was sent in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. You what? You're here to find out where the President is. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Nanocommunications? Right, silence beats talk when it comes to safety. What did you manage to catch? They said password input was complete. I thought so. You said the password entry into the black case had to be made by the president willingly. That's right. So this means the president is cooperating with them. It would have to be, yes. Why? Probably tired of being a puppet, but it wasn't a smart move to betray us. A puppet? We're running out of time. They will fire a nuke. You know what you need to do before then. Fire the nuke? But it's nowhere close to the ransom deadline. Ransom? Thirty billion dollars in cash. What are you babbling about? The nuclear strike is not a threat. It's been the objective all along. They plan to slaughter millions of people. No, a high altitude detonation. You've heard of the Compton effect? Total disruption of electronic equipment caused by EMMA pulse. Textbook answer. Well, when an average nuclear warhead goes off within the atmosphere, the result is an electromagnetic pulse of up to 50 billion megawatts. The EMMA field can reach tens of thousands of volts per meter, and most electronic equipment will be toast in an instant. If one of the key movers of world economy stops functioning, it could mean the beginning of a global depression. But that isn't their aim. What they plan to do is liberate Manhattan, pull it offline and turn it into some kind of a republic. Hence, Sons of Liberty, I suppose. Sons of Liberty? Damn! Ocelot is coming. I'm going offline. Search my pocket. Hurry! It's a security card. You'll be able to unlock doors of up to level 3 security. Use it to get to Shell 2. Take care of the President before they launch the nuke. What do you think you're doing? 
I asked him to remove these. I'm ill, you see. I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. What are you talking about? No need for denials. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the President was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. Am I right? You! Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lule Lo. Is that so? What the? You. You. You tricked me. I understand now. Ocelot. You. You. Which team are you with? Show me your face! You know who he is. No, he is not one of mine. Identify yourself! <laughs> we meet at last. Is alive. Hurry, get away. You, but you died. President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Hmm. What the... You're... a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nanocommunication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir.